WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the TFNN Noon Update. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour and the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Let's get right to the markets. The Dow is up 205. You've got the... Whenever there's this rumor about uh, the China trade deal, you get these spikes, and then they usually dissipate as the news filters out that, yes, but, mm -hmm. well, we'll see what happens, because the market was doing okay, then it sort of spiked up, then it came back down uh, after, so the Dow was up maybe 80 points, 90 points, and it comes back to plus 60, and then, boom, gets doubled, more than that. Now it's uh, tripled. It goes to two, 205 up at 27,011. Still within this rectangle formation, the consolidation formation, still with the moving averages holding nicely. The MACD is good. Stochastic still down at 74%. That's not great. So we had Intel, which is really a big mover um, in the in the Dow. Microsoft is up. So you, this is what we've seen all week. We've seen stocks within the same group. Some act fantastically and others just get decimated to the downside. And yet the market has held well. And what I said to subscribers to my opening call, this is where we're probably seeing a rotation where um, the aspect of consolidating with the averages holding quite steady as you get this volatility within the sectors means that, in a way, you use usurping energy and time rather than price. Let's go to the S&P. The S&P isn't up quite as much, but it's still up nicely. It's up 14 at 3,024. The 3,027 high was important. But most importantly, what we've got here is the all-time high of 3,027.98. When you get into this weekly up-channel resistance level, that's what we're going to be monitoring very closely. Now, we might have had an instant restart here. This is F slash B in the daily chart. So that makes the uh, 3,003 to 2,997 two, support, really important. The QQQs up even with Amazon down sharply, yeah, although it's come back quite a bit, up $1.32 at 195.41. Hey, is that, no, 195.55 is the all-time high. You've got the IWM acting quite well as also. It's up $1.19 at 155.38. Now, what's interesting is that gold had a big spike um, early this morning and now it's up about two. It's given back a chunk of the, those gains. I'm going to be talking about that in the next segment coming up, my Tiger Technician's Hour. And the dollar is actually holding very well. I'll be back in a moment. Have a great weekend.